they are students of 9A, 9B. The following points, as I mentioned in the board, first point, dress and ornaments, second, entertainment, third, arts and crafts, four, importance of seals, and five, religion. First point, dress and ornaments. Dress and ornaments. During the age of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, people earned a lot of money. They led a very luxurious life. They maintained a very uh, high and sophisticated style with their money. Their prosperity helped them to earn, their, to spend a lot of money for leading a very modern lifestyle. That's why, my dear students, people owe two, two pieces of coal. Although they were fond of enjoying, they were fond of wearing ornaments, necklace, the women were fond of uh, taking, taking beauty, but at the same time, they led a very ordinary life also because people wore two types of clothes, two types of two pieces of clothes, one resembling a swal and another one means lower part dhoti. People, uh, people used and clothes were made of cotton, cotton and wool. At the same time, some things were discovered like needles, like, you know, uh, uh, buttons. Discovery of needles and buttons suggests that people stitched clothes. The Indus Valley people were fond of wearing ornaments made of gold, made of, you know, uh, bronze and made of copper. And some necklaces, they also were fond of wearing it. These necklaces were made of stones, animal bones, sorry. Animal bones and stones, some necklaces. It is evident from the discovery of uh, hair pins and uh, toilet jars, ivory combs, face uh, paints and perfume bottles. At various sites, that uh, women took great interest in beauty, and women were fond of both women and men were fond of wearing ornaments made of gold, silver, and you know copper. Now, which uh, uh, now another part of uh, the important things of their life which encourage them to enjoy and to lead a very steady life. Amusement. Amusement seems to be very important aspect of Harappan culture and Harappan life. As an, and a large number of dice, a large number of marbles have been found. Prove that they were fond of playing games with marbles. The statue of dancing girl suggests that music and dance, music and dance form a major part of their recreation. Besides hunting, fishing, uh, playing, bullfighting, cockfighting, these all were the other source of amusement of the you know Indus people. Another thing is that children played cards, children played with rattles, played with whistles, these all were made of terracotta. Another point that is arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. The Indus people they were fond of making pottery, painting, sculpture and Indus Valley civilization also had made great advances in metal, in metal sculptures made of, uh, made of uh, bronze, 
made of copper, made of stone. One statue of a, of a woman, one statue of a woman made of bronze, it uh, glorified the image of the Indus people. Prove that they also were fond of making, uh, you know, making artistic uh, skills, fevering of the dancing girl with ornaments excavated from Mohenjo-daro also helped them to show their splendid artistic skills. And apart from this, metal crafts, many stone images also prove their artistic skills as most famous, most famous, famous among it was a bearded man, statue of a bearded man. A statue of a bearded man with half fold eyes, half folded eyes, wearing a shawl to the right, uh, right shoulder, seemed to be a priest king. Manjadara people, uh, Manjadara people um, considered him to be a priest king or a ruler. The artistically decorated bearded man, the artistically decorated bearded man looks like a priest and his half, half closed eyes and well maintained beard indicate the artistic excellence of the Mahanjadar of the Indas people. The people during that period they all were hard working people. They never waste their time. They were fond of making new new things. Whatever knowledge they gained they always shared it among themselves and would make any kind of works, any kind of artistic works, artistic art, crafts, unanimously, unitedly. And as a result of it, they were able to create new, new things. And whatever part of, you know, Whatever part of their daily life they usually habituated, habituated, associated with it, they always try to make it just like one dancing girl. The image of dancing girl proved that people were fond of enjoying dance, music, people were fond of, you know, uh, fond of enjoying uh, various types of amusements. And now seals, a number of seals were discovered from where? A number of seals were discovered, near about 2,000 seals were discovered from Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. These seals give, give us useful information about the Indus civilization. And most of the seals have knobs at the back. These seals have beautiful carvings. Beautiful carvings, some, uh, some seals are there where the images of different deities Devas means uh, different, you know, uh, different god and goddesses are there like Shiva, Shiva in the form of Pashupati and animals such as the bull, goat, tiger, elephant are engraved with the inscriptions on them. So these seals, these seals give us many, give us some informations about the Indus people and their civilization. The customs, their customs of the people, the choices of the people, the nature of the people. We, we come to know 
from these seals. The exact significance of the seals is unclear. But it is possible that they were used in trade as many Indus Valley seals have been found in Mesopotamia in large number proves, proves that they not only earn money, they not only uh, earn money but also spend it for amusement purpose, for establishing cordial relationship among themselves. Next one, a religion. Last point, a religion. Archaeologists have come to a conclusion that the figurines of terracotta design, female figurines, help them to uh, pay tribute to their goddess, god and goddesses. It is due to the effort of the Harappan people. The people of the Harappan age, they were very fond of worshipping gods and goddesses. They had great respect for their gods and goddesses. For example, as I mentioned earlier, the seals of Pasupati in the form of Pasupati, Lord Shiva, uh, appears before them through various seals. These seals proves that the people, the Indas people were fond of worshipping God and goddesses like Sivas and other goddesses and uh, some animals they worshipped. At the same time, only one bird they worshipped. These birds are, you know, pigeons. Another part of this thing is that the people during Indus Valley civilization, they encourage other people to assemble in order to pay their tribute, in order to concentrate their minds before uh, praying for their respective gods and goddesses. Respective gods and goddesses, the symbol of fertility, the symbol of fertility, what is this? Mother goddesses. And uh, some such figurines are popular all over the world in other cultures as well. That's why according to some archaeologists, according to some archaeologists, some uh, part of the, the some, some archaeologists, a number of seals which were found, which, which are discovered from, the, uh, from, from these sites, proves that they were fond of not only earn money, they were fond of not only uh, lead uh, a very enjoyable life, but at the same time they were fond of worshipping their gods, their deities, their gods and goddesses. And uh, they had their male god, they had their female gods. That's why worship of mother goddess, according to archaeologists, who, uh, who have found many, many female terracotta designs. It is due to their efforts, my dear students. All of them, uh, all of them led a very luxurious life. All of them led a very steady life. All of them led a very happy life during Indus Valley civilization. Up to this, my dear students. Thank you.